Hi friends, uh, today we are uh, going to be opening the LCD panel of the Lenovo G430. So this machine has come to us and uh, as you can see there is a problem in the display. It's got a blurred display as you can see. It will boot up now. As you can see the display is blurred and it's giving a greenish tinge to the entire thing. So we need to open this thing up and check uh, whether the LCD display is gone bad or the VGA cable is gone bad. In the process we are going to show you how to open the LCD as well as the keyboard, DVD writer and uh, everything that you can do with your Lenovo G430 in terms of the hard drive, the RAM and everything else. So first thing first we need to flip the laptop and we need to remove the battery here. Remove the battery here. As you can see, there are these four screws here which we have to remove. So, let's drive for this purpose. And keep these four screws aside, and we also need to open these screws over here and here as you can see there is a screw here which we have to remove This screw here we can uh, remove to get the DVD writer out of the laptop and change the DVD writer. You can just use this thing and flip it aside and the DVD writer just comes out. So you can just take another DVD writer, fit these two screws here and you can flip it back. It's got a SATA DVD writer as you can see, SATA. So we just need to Flip it back, and now we need to remove this panel here. As you can see, this panel has to be removed first thing first. So, use a very thin little sharp nail kind of a thing and pierce. Be very, very gentle on this thing because there are connectors to this particular power port so just need to will come out uh, you have to be a little patient so as you can see this panel just comes out pops out and you can see this strip has been connected so you need to remove the strip here very gently remove it and this thing comes out now for changing the keyboard this thing first we'll have to remove these uh, screws here there are these two screws one screw here and one screw here just need to remove these screws and you can just remove it and uh, you can Remove the strip of keyboard from the motherboard and keep it aside. So now we need to dismantle the LCD. As you can see, the LCD has to be removed. So we need to remove all the there is. these screws here which you can see which you need to remove after removing the rudder here as of now we'll place the keyboard screws back in its position so there's no confusion in the future and you always do this thing so that you don't get messed up with screw to put where just need to 
remove these rubber rudders and there will be screws which are hidden inside Now you just need to create a little white between the outer and the inner panel and the outer panel of the LCD here the next job is to remove the LCD for that uh, you need to unscrew these screws which are holding on to the back panel of the back panel to remove the web camera cable and the back panel will rest behind so this is the VGA cable of uh, this is the inverter board you just need to remove the two can, um, this is the inverter board as you can see it's a standard uh, LCD that is there along with it the time being we'll just put the screws back here you have to remove the VGA cable from this particular panel you can see this thing comes out now after this you need to remove these screws here comes out. This is the LCD of the Lenovo G430. The same process is uh, applicable for Lenovo G532. Friends, here is the video which shows you how you basically change the LCD, check the LCD whether the free fitting is working fine with it and uh, the DVD writer, the keyboard, hard disk and RAM can be removed in the base itself. So it's pretty easy, Reno has made things uh, very simple and easy for people. Thanks a lot guys, thanks a lot for watching.